Hello everybody in today's video and we will know in this video 8 ways to protect your smart home from hackers First, let's go Consider what you actually need Like what? Like if you don't need something don't connect it in your smart smart home or in your uh, to your Wi-Fi. Why? Because something like Siri or Google Assistant, it's always working. So it's listening always. You want it to listen to everything you ha have been in your smart house. And something like cameras. Cameras is good and good security, but it also sometimes you connect it by the internet. So. It upload all the footage to the internet so consider what you need if you need something connect it if you don't need don't connect it it's easy second secure your Wi-Fi network make a very very hard password okay and also you can use protocol or security protocol like WPA3 or WPA2 if you don't want, okay, you can just put Wi-Fi password, but make it so hard, make it difficult. Update firmware. Firmware is the software of every IoT device. Every device or smart device have software, like light software. This software is called firmware. You have to update all the firmware in, in all your devices, because every update makes security update with it. So updated for replace outdated routers why because outdated routers have bad or old security protocols but the up-to-date routers have the the most or the latest the latest protocol for security so update your routers five manage your account passwords yeah you have password for your Wi-Fi and also you have password for every service you have in your internet or every device you connect to your internet or to your Wi-Fi. So manage the accounts. Don't make all of them with the same password. Yeah, it's convenient, but it's nightmare for security. So don't make like the same password for everything. No, make everything have a specific password and strong password. Okay. Six, enable multi-factor authentication. Multi-factor authentication is something like not just password. Password and something else, multi-factor, two or three or four, as you want, but not just one factor. So multi-factor can be like uh, a specific number sent to your mobile phone. So after you put the, the password, you have to put the number that have sent to you to your phone also so you have two factors the password and the number and also you can have more than two factors it's so important to have more than one factor authentication split your network it's so important also and when you have a specific wi-fi make the like easy or not important not so, so important thing uh, or not private things in a specific Wi-Fi and the important things in a splitted Wi-Fi and try to secure the important Wi-Fi more than the other Wi-Fi. So if you have you have fridge or any other device, any other IoT device, but it's not so so important, it's not so private fridge, it's okay. The hacker, if the hacker can uh, hack your fridge, what they will do? They will not do anything. But if they hack your laptop or your phone, yeah now they can now they can stool your private data so split the wi-fi make the the private things in a secured wi-fi and the general things in another wi-fi split your wi-fi it's so important by the way monitor your network yeah monitoring your network will allow you to know we if someone else is now in your wi-fi with you or just you if something else something weird happening in your Wi-Fi or just you. How can you monitor your network? A lot of network uh, like devices like this can uh, can monitor it or software, specific so software like this software, wireless network watcher. Just put it in Google and search about it. You will find it. It's so easy and it's uh, secured 
program and it will show you who is connected with your Wi-Fi. So just go and download it and monitor your Wi-Fi. Thank you so much. I hope I benefit you and Assalamu alaikum.